This is the German KV-1B. It has a reputation as a bit of a seal clubber, so I thought I could try it out because uh, I am very ill right now, and I just want to take it real easy. Now you're probably thinking, hey, shouldn't you be relaxing and trying to recover? And my response to that is, I pledge allegiance to the bag. So the thinking is that most of the uh, high penning... Oh, what's going on with that? Anyway, the uh, thought process is that most of the high penning guns will be on your team. So this should be a bit more durable than the KV-1E. A few moments later... <laughs> what? Huh? What the hell? How did that... How does that work? Is this guy for real? Yeah, but it's... <laughs> that's not gonna work. Again, the uh, the classic issue with playing a German vehicle is you have to deal with German teammates. Yep, I'm uh, <laughs> completely surrounded right now. Every time I try to play a German vehicle, every single time. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate Churchills? Wonder if I can pen his turret from this angle. Nope, die. that's a 76 Sherman. Okay, well, at least he's taken care of. <laughs> Alright, I think this was the Chaffee that foiled my plans earlier. I would like to have a word with you. Or several. Mainly being, uh, you, pal. Yeah, it doesn't really matter how, uh, how powerful your tank is. If you get surrounded by four tanks, you're, you're done for. It's game over, pal. Just like it should be game over for, uh, this thing. Part of it was my fault, and part of it was my team just crumpling like a paper bag. You probably didn't hear it in the last match because I removed it in post, but I was coughing like a maniac. And to try and alleviate that, I took some cough syrup. Unfortunately, it contains acetaminophen, or Tylenol. I already took the max dose of Tylenol before I started recording, so uh, things might get a little bit interesting. Who knows? I don't know what taking too much acetaminophen does to a human body. There's a lot of T-34s over there. Um, I'm actually really surprised that killed him. Is that guy's name just an X? <laughs> an X in a box? Okay, there's another one. I... Oh. I was gonna say, should I shoot him or not? I don't wanna be too mean. The, uh, the issue I'm finding playing this is that, yeah, it's a very, very powerful tank, but... So is pretty much everything German in this BR bracket, so... <laughs> it's like everyone is sharing the kills, if that makes sense. Oh, what? Come on, that was a perfect shot right on the uh, turret weak spot. What? Come, come on, man. The turret ring. The T-34's turret is already annoying enough to pen, but you hit the weak spot anyway and it's just like, mm, nah. Uh... <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> I would like to get just a nice small map, you know? A Poland, an Eastern Europe. Hello, Mr. T-34. Ooh, how did I whiff that so bad? Okay, there we go. It seems my prayers have been answered. Oh, hey, it's a historically accurate uh, matchup, except for Sweden. No, thank you, sir. Oh, that was a KV-1? I thought that was, like, a light tank or something. Let's see, are there... Yep, there are, in fact, bad guys over here. Oh my god, there's a lot of bad guys over here. Um, That's no good. That is absolutely now, no good. I am suspicious. Okay, the Sherman actually scares me quite a lot, so I'm going to take him out. 
Oh my god. <laughs> We're all running into each other over here trying to get kills. It's so funny. <laughs> He's bad. He's real bad. Uh, that didn't look like a friendly shooting. Oh, no, it in fact was not. That's a Cromwell. Big bomb. Good thing we're KV. How many radiators do I have to take out before this guy explodes? Well, his engine explodes, at least. Uh, did he just disappear? What happened? What the... What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what a mess this match is, dude. We've got invisible tanks, we've got team killing with Artie, we've got teammates shooting each other for kills. For a second, I wasn't quite sure where to shoot that Sherman. I always hesitate a bit with the uh, M4s because I've played them so much, but I don't really know exactly where the best weak spots are. Engine sounds are so messed up with this update that I literally have like no information regarding where people are. That's what I was hearing. Well, I definitely hear a radial engine next to me. If this already could calm down so I could see what I'm shooting at. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot his barrel, I think. Uh, his turret should be weak right here, right? Yes. I want more kills. Feed me more kills. You're on your own, Noble. Turn her out. Can I... Can I please have enough gun depression to shoot whatever this is? An M3. Surprised he didn't uh, burn up with that fuel. <laughs> okay, I'm not really surprised because that's not how War Thunder works, but it'd be funny if it did. I think 11 might be the best I do today, honestly. I am uh, not in the zone <laughs> at all. I, uh, I don't think that's a friendly tank I'm hearing. Oh, poor M22. Buddy. <laughs> I'm so glad I managed to hit his track with that shot, even though I couldn't see him really. Otherwise, that would have been supremely annoying to fight. What is out here? Oh, good. Managed to get everything I needed to. <laughs> Man. I'm shocked I actually penned a T-34 turret for a shot. That thing is so annoying to fight now. This is not good. I am very much surrounded by people. Ooh. Not so fast, bud. How have we still not capped C over here? I've killed like five guys in the span of two minutes. Is there a guy just hiding in this area? Yeah, there was. I knew it. I've got to keep moving, because if I don't, I'm gonna get surrounded, and that will not be good. Oh my god. <laughs> he got sent to another dimension. Yeah, low to mid-tier Germany is really oppressive, man. Well, that was still a pretty good game. I thought about using bushes on this, because it's par for course, really, but... I don't want to do that. I will only ever do that if it's a bad vehicle that is really small, and I will only do it for videos. I just hate bushes so much. <laughs> APHEBC is so stupid. I mean, realistically, I think it should just shatter, but this is War Thunder. Ay Dios mio! Okay, he's a typical M4A3105 player. There is definitely a Sherman on the other side of that building. I invite you to try, sir. 
I think that's the first time I've seen a Swedish Sherman on the enemy team, at least. Damn! My hubris! Oh, not so fast. Can I shoot him through this? No. Unfortunate. Um, can I pen his transmission housing? That would be a yes. Did it actually damage his turret crew, though? Liar! Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot about that stupid little part. We have killed a lot of Shermans this match. Oh my god. He's too fast, I can't hit him. <laughs> Panzer IV, turn around quickly! I cannot believe I missed that. Dude. I am drugged to hell right now, trying to just survive recording. <laughs> okay, I'm at least not drugged up enough that I will shoot my own teammates. Come back here, you sanctimonious devil. Does sanctimonious even make sense in that uh, context? I don't remember what sanctimonious means. <laughs> there, there was no noise, there was no sound, he just ceased to exist. And they're just driving out in front of me today. I would like some more targets to shoot, please. If I could get more than 11 kills for the thumbnail, that'd be good. Can I see him? Damn. Okay, well, I don't want to fight you right now, I don't think. Because uh, I'm failing to penetrate. Yeah, I'm just going to go kill that AA. That bomb. That was a friendly that did that, by the way. I don't know what he was trying to hit, but he almost hit me, so... Thank God, I actually managed to pen his turret. T-34s, man, I am telling ya. There he is. Yeah, that's 12, baby. So yeah, that's the KV-1B. As you can see, pretty powerful in the right circumstances. I don't think it's that much different compared to the KV-1E. I mean, they're the exact same tank, just one's uh, in a German tech tree. I probably would have done better if I wasn't ill. I might do a follow-up video. But yeah, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.